I'm going to show you how to make some pixel art. We're going to use uh, some prompts inspired by um, Tuts Prompts uh, or AITuts.com. And we're going to try to make some stuff like this. We're going to ask ChatGPT to help us, though, make the prompts for Mid Journey that we're ultimately going to feed back in there. So some really cool stuff. Um, we're going to we're going to start with that. And uh, then, then we're going to move up from there. So I'm going to kind of show you how I'm going to start. So. Uh, let's go ahead and grab um, this right here, and then we're gonna we're gonna push it up, right? So I'm gonna say, hey, let's take this, and, and we're gonna give it to ChatGPT. I'm gonna say, hey, take this mid-journey prompt for pixel art and make it much more highly detailed. It's gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, then what we're gonna do is from that, we're gonna say, hey, I want you to give me. Um, a bunch of different scenes, right? And I'm gonna say, hey, give me like like ten different scenes that um, you could describe in a prompt, and uh, I want I want these pixel art scenes for all of them, right? I'm gonna say I want you to make up ten different scenes that we could use to inspire pixel art. I want you to develop the prompt for those scenes and give them to me. And so it's going to go and work on that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this and then I'm going to say, uh, imagine prompt, I'm going to pass that in. we we'll see where that goes. And let's see. We're gonna grab some more of these. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna take out the design bit because that's like an action word. And sometimes ChatGPT gives you an action word like design. What we wanna do, what we wanna pass to mid journey is just the expression of what we want to visualize. So we're gonna see if it gives that. Okay, so what we're getting actually is a little bit variable. So the first prompt that I passed in, it gave these little scenes that are really neat. I like these a lot, but what they aren't is a, kind of a representation of what we thought we were going to be working with originally, which is an actual just like flat scene. Um, now, that's okay though. I think what we can do is we can try to eliminate um, this in uh, the scene. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed this back to ChatGPT and I'm going to say this prompt uh, gave us a 3D style box visual of, of this but we want a 2D style flat scene instead. Can you change the prompt to do that? And uh, you can you can get really detailed with the revisions that you pass to ChatGPT, or you can just be like, hey, change this, it doesn't look right. And it will change this and it will try to make it look right. So there's not um, like a, like the more you supplement the information, the better it, it can be, right? So, Let's see, this is saying a lot of flat 2D style. Cool. And we're gonna see if this prompt gets us the result we want. But in the meantime, we're gonna go through here and we're gonna grab um, a couple different uh, ones of these. So I like um, Japanese tea garden. That sounds pretty cool. Um, Egyptian tomb. All right, and I think this is our uh, prompt that we just passed with the with the flat two D ask, and we're gonna actually see how that comes out. Okay. All right, so we we basically got almost exactly the same thing except for this. Okay, so this one came out pretty good, just like we wanted. Um, but I do like these other ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna say, hey, let me let me have this one um, as well, uh, just because I like it, right? And I want to keep it. 
and I'm interested to see how some of the rest of these turn out. Now, I think we are getting a formation of um, something that resembles that sort of like th sort of 3D isolated space. Oh, look at this. This is pretty cool. Yeah, it's a little market. Um, the wagon's a little bit screwed up. Um, ultimately, this looks like a little game block, but that's okay. Oh, wow, cool. This is really nice. So I like this one. Um, this one's really cool. I'm going to take both of those. And I'm just going to spin this one again just to see what other cool stuff we can get. I think I like all these. Uh, this one, the Egyptian one, this is pretty cool. Um, I think I like that one the best. So I'm just going to say I want that. And then it's got all these running, and so when these come out, we're going we're gonna to take all of them. All right, so here's some of the outputs that we had. So this is one of the ones that I sized up. I think this one turned out really good, really cool scene. Um, this one, really neat. Overall, uh, like if you had anything about these prompts that you wanted to change or you wanted to add, like I could try to inject, you know, something into this one. I could be like, hey, like I want this scene, but I want like a little character in there. And I want him to be like a little samurai dude, right? So you'd be like, uh, can you add a samurai character into the visual visual that this prompt generates? And so we're going to see what it gives us. But it should say something about like, hey, let's take, you know, um, you know, a little samurai guy in there. Let's see how that works. So we got that prompt. Let's take that. Let's pass it in here. And then uh, one little trick that you might already know, if you press up on your keys, you can go ahead and change anything from the last prompt that you just pushed. This sort of memory doesn't last that long in here in Discord, um, but long enough um, to be able to like quickly change the prompt. So if I said like, if I wanted to change something about this, a, so like a, uh, if I want to say like a tall samurai character. I can do that. We're gonna look in here and I'm thinking that there's only like a character over here. I don't see one anywhere else. Um, so I'm going to actually say this prompt does not give a samurai character. Can you redesign the prompt to make it so the character is visible for sure? So we'll see what the deal is there. Um, let's see what this other output is. It's like right here. Yeah, we don't have a character anywhere within there. So um, so I'm going to say, hey, I didn't get the character in my visual. So I want to say, hey, make, make sure that happens next time. And we'll just paste that in there. Um, but the difference, I think, is going to be um, is that it's going to say, hey, place a prominent samurai cool in the foreground and then say put him near the garden or the pond and make sure the character is clearly visible and detailed and so before it said add a samurai character but it didn't emphasize foreground or prominent so I think when we do the prominent in the foreground those are going to be the defining words that actually change how our prompt um, works and as you can see it we're getting some sort of person um, and this one and this one and I think I like this one the best so I'm actually going to roll with that upscale that one um, but we'll also upscale I think I'm going to upscale number two as well here's what they look like when they're finally done so we kind of got like two for one we got samurai here and some something here um, and we got this little character, kind of more of like a, just a random sort of Roblox character looking dude. I kind of wanted like the samurai robe and all that to kind of be visible, but um, it's a little bit better than nothing, you know? So 
um, overall, this is good. So, hey, if this is helpful, uh, thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you again in the next video.